Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. It's been a while since I've shown you a grocery haul, so I thought I'd show you this, especially since um, inflation and the price of groceries has changed. Um, I spent $135 on all of this at Asiana Market, which is a Korean grocery store. I didn't go there to actually get Korean food. I did go to get some stuff that I know are particular to places like that. Um, but I just wanted to see the market because I haven't been to that one. So let me start over here. This is basically for three of us. And uh, we're going to have about four meals from this and then some leftovers. Here I got some ground beef. And then you can see the price is uh, 97 cents per pound. I got two of those. I will be making chili from here. I already have black beans and, um, you know, the seasonings for that. And then I got some pork uh, tonkatsu that was already done. Now, I usually do this myself, but I figured this week I had some um, ways I wanted to cut uh, time in cooking. So I went ahead and got these. And of course, if you get them yourself and do it yourself, it's going to be a little bit less. So you can see the prices here, $5.27 and $4.47. And so for the three of us, this would probably be about uh, two meals and I'm gonna be serving that with miso soup. And so here's miso. We I usually always have miso in my fridge, and this will be at least um, two um, pots of miso soup. And then I also have tofu for that, and green onions. And here I have a uh, chicken. Um, uh, not all the stores do something like this, but I was kind of happy that they did this. So it's basically they cut up chicken. It's already cut up. I always own, I usually buy cut up chicken. Um, I'm not very good with cutting it up. So got this. I almost got two, but I decided just to have one. So what I've been trying to do is to not have too many uh, leftovers because we really waste leftovers. Sometimes I'll make, um, so I'm making chicken adobo from here. And what I've noticed is that it's good for two meals, but if it's for like a third meal, we're kind of not really into it. So we end up wasting that. So I'm trying to just have enough here for two meals. And then I already have rice. Then I have here some pork spare ribs. This will be for pork sinigang. It's a Filipino soup that's sour. Um, so I usually like to use pork for that, but you can use beef and fish and shrimp. Uh, my family likes this. And I need with that uh, spinach. And so we usually, this will probably be two meals and we use up a lot of spinach. So I usually get two bundles of spinach for that. So this would be for the second batch. And then this is, um, and then some of the serrano peppers that goes into the soup and I have extra ones cause I'm planning to make um, like a, a salsa. And then I have uh, chili peppers. I always like these on hand. Um, I do have a, um, a um, bungos, which is like a milkfish, Filipino milkfish. It's in the freezer that I can make a sauce with this. It's like a, uh, onions, tomatoes, and a little bit of pepper, and you dip the fish in that. <clears throat> also, along with the soup, I will need these tomatoes and half of that onion. And then I use this mix. So this is a tamarind soup mix. This is what it looks like. So this is what the soup looks like. If you use shrimp, um, that's the tamarind, but I'm going to be using pork. I have a ginger here and the green onions because I will be making chicken arascaldo, which is like chicken in a rice porridge. That is also Filipino. Uh, I have chicken still, chicken tender still from uh, Costco that are in the freezer that I'll be using. And then I needed to stock up on some garlic. so. I use garlic all the time. And then here I got two packages of bok choy. And so what I do with bok choy is I put um, uh, garlic and a little bit of Maggie, which is, uh, I don't know how to explain that, but it's like a sauce. And I usually, I can serve that. Uh, that can go with, any, that could probably go with the chicken adobo or if they want to eat it with the pork tonkatsu. Or sometimes, um, I think I still have a, part of a steak left over so we can have it with that. And then when I go to the Asia, any Asian grocery store, I usually um, ask my husband if he's not with us, anything that he wants. And then if my daughter's with me or my son, but my son's um, not living with us anymore. So 
uh, I just give them like just a little bit of a budget to get what they want. And so my daughter got gyoza and then she got gin ramen and the, these chips, honey butter chips. And then she wanted some uh, tofu and then some seaweed. So we do have spam. Once in a while we'll make musubi. And then she wanted these crackers. These are like the best rice crackers. Uh, then she got some pickled radish and then she got her drink. And then these are the things that my husband, uh, I got for my husband. Now he likes sweet potatoes. And so what he usually does with these is just boil them and eat them obviously without the skin. And that is kind of like a, a snack, sometimes even a whole meal for him if he's um, on his uh, low carb diets. And then he also likes raw peanuts and then he loves mochi. So we got him eight of these mochis, um, which, you know, is a, it costs money, but that's like a treat for him. And then I definitely needed some eggs. So I just got these eggs. Um, I usually get them from the regular grocery store, but since I was there, I went ahead and picked some up. So you can see here from the $135, we have one, two, three, four, at least four days worth of meals. And then we have, um, could have that one, five days. And then this one for the chicken uh, porridge, that's uh, six days. And then I could make something with the tofu. I have uh, Japanese curry and some carrots and tofu that, and potatoes that I could put together. So we have seven meals here, seven full days of meals, lunch and dinner that um, fits into this grocery haul. I also wanted to show you guys this. This is uh, from Bag Pods. They are on Amazon, I believe. I'll link it below. I got these, I believe, from Container Store, but these are the reusable bags that I use. And almost every cashier that has bagged for me, they're just like, these are probably one of the strongest um, bags they've ever used uh, or, you know, bag stuff. And they were surprised that it actually fits a lot. It looks small, but it fits a lot of stuff in there. Okay, so then after I do the grocery haul, and obviously I set this up to film it, but usually after that, I um, start putting stuff into my fridge and I have containers like this. Um, this is the Home Edit brand from the container store, but you can use anything that, um, you know, any egg containers that you find on Amazon or, you know, different stores. Uh, I like it. Uh, it just makes the fridge look a little bit more cohesive. And then I put a label using my Cricut machine. If you made it this far, thank you. Um, I don't know if you've noticed my voice is a little bit uh, cracking because I lost my voice and it's coming back slowly. But here's my grocery haul. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.